so we just got the uh, engine started after we bled out all the injectors on a diesel, as a lot of people know, and some people don't. Or with any system, you have a lot of air. But more so in a lock system, unlike a carbureted engine, you kind of keep cranking until you bleed that air out, uh, just through the fuel pump, let's say, it pushes the, the air out. But with this, it has really nowhere to go. So you have to bleed out each one of these and crack each one of these um, injectors right there on that, on that nut right there. Crack it until the diesel fluid comes out on each one. And uh, it takes a little while to, to work all the air out. You have to turn the engine over and uh, do that. And you ultimately sometimes can kill the battery, of which we did on this, and we had to have give us some assistance. So either way, after bleeding the air out, we got it running. It runs real good. We had this pump um, tuned a little bit more so it gives a little bit more fuel. And that's because we know we're going to run an intercooler on it. And part of the our, our charge here is to get this intercooler at highway speed so it's, it's burning cooler. And we'll talk about the parameter that we're going to put in here as well. So we're going to have exhaust gases that we're going to manage and look at. So again, with a the diesel, there's a, a few more things you have to think about. Our first thing that we thought about, the injector and the injector pump is done. We'll uh, look at the intercooler. We're also going to look at the parameter and uh, another gauge for temperature and also the snorkel to come, as well as the intake. So we got some work here to do, but needless to say, this, this part is done and it runs quite nicely.